everyone, this is People in Power, and I'm Summer El Shahat. On today's program, banished. Unless the toprak or masa eger the ev bol masa adam charesiyor, son kalgalar achiyor. And Obama's carbon plan. The war between Georgia and Russia over South Ossetia last year threw the spotlight on a region of growing international tension, the Black Sea. Central to this region is the Crimea, now part of Ukraine, but once it was part of the Soviet Union. And over 60 years ago, at the end of the Second World War, many of the Crimea's oldest inhabitants, the Crimean Tatars, were forced into exile in Central Asia by Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin. Now, many survivors of this wholesale exportation have returned they found their homeland much changed. And as Jody Sabral reports, simmering tensions over just who owns the land threaten to ignite. This is Gulna. She is returning to her home in Crimea after working for one year in Istanbul because her daughter is about to give birth to her first grandchild. She's among thousands of Crimea's Turkic-speaking and mostly Muslim Tatars who are obliged to find work abroad every year. The Tatars are a community that feels increasingly under siege and with good reason. Their modern history is one of systematic killings, torture and forced exile. Accused of collaboration with the German invaders in the Second World War, they were deported en masse on the orders of Joseph Stalin. In Gulnaz village, Silodiniv Sovka, seven kilometers from the Crimean capital of Simferopol, her father also remembers the terror. Yeah. Bir <gülüyor> he still doesn't know where they're buried. After the deportations, the Tatars' land was confiscated by the Soviet state. Many ethnic Russians were then settled in Crimea on what had once been Tatar land. Since the fall of the Soviet Union, however, many Tatars have been returning to their ancestral home. Today, the Crimea is an autonomous republic within Ukraine, governed by its own constitution in accordance with Ukraine law. And although Ukraine's politics have been pro-Western since the 2004 Orange Revolution, Crimea has remained dominated by a pro-Russian outlook, which doesn't recognize the indigenous Tatar culture. 
yapılan e, sosyolojik araştırmalara göre burada yaşayan Rus dilinde konuşan Ruslar aslında e, bazı asimilasyon olan Ukraynlarda büyük çoğunluğu aşağı yukarı yüzde yetmişi kendi geleceklerini Rusya'ya beraber görüyorlar. O çok normal çünkü e, burasının nüfusu Rusların yüzde doksanı ve fazlası 1944 yılından sonra buraya getirilen, yani Kırım Tatarları burada sürgün edildikten sonra Rusya'dan getirilen insanlar ve yolların nesilleri. Recent developments in politics are further evidence of this. Following the war in South Ossetia, which pitched Georgian and Russian forces against each other, the Crimea's autonomous parliament voted to call on Ukraine to recognize the breakaway Georgian regions of South Ossetia and Abkhazia, both Russian allies. Yet many Crimean Tatars were against this move.